Do you want to start this off, or should I? Sure. Ashton, Daddy and I have some bad news. Your mother and I, well, our relationship is on the rocks. Wait, what? Well, honey, there's no right way to say this. Sweetie, we're getting a divorce. Divorce? Oh my God, is this because of me? Uh, well, no. Let's just say that becoming parents didn't help our marriage. No, it did not. Divorce. It's never easy talking to your children about it, but blaming them or each other, say the experts, are some of the worst things you can do. You're at a restaurant when you see a couple doing exactly that and in the process, hurting their child. What would you do? So this is all my fault. All my fault because of me. All my fault because of me. Oh my God. We're at the Red Oak Diner in Hazlett, New Jersey. Tracy and Tyler are getting a divorce, but they're doing it all horribly wrong, with 11-year-old Ashton caught in the middle. We have bad news to tell you, and I don't... I don't know the right way to say it, or... Oh, no. This couple, sitting at the next table, already seem to sense that Tracy and Tyler's relationship is on the rocks. Do you want to say it, or do you want me to say it? Well, I mean... So then let me say it. I don't understand why you just okay, don't let me talk. Okay, go ahead and say it. Say it. We're getting a divorce. Divorce? And now they have a ringside seat to an increasingly ugly family ordeal. He has a mistress. Oh, He's having on. an affair. So we're getting a divorce. What about our family? We don't have a family, sweetie. We don't have a family anymore. Ashton. It's just you and me. Hey, hey, come on. As our parents battle, they exchange looks. Well, thank you for ruining your child's life. That's all I want to say, okay? You're the one that's caused this whole problem. Oh, come you on. This whole thing. And when we tell Tyler and Tracy to leave the table... <laughs> this is all my fault. They remain silent. But when Tracy is alone at the table, Meredith Zebro speaks up. I'm sorry. I, to go through yeah. I mean, we're doing this right, aren't we? Your son is the one that matters most to me. I guess I went through the same thing, but like their son was the most important thing. Like we would see them argue, but it wasn't like they would let us see them like get really mad. Like they would step away. And that's when we step in. Hi, how are you? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> You yeah. gave her advice. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't be hearing about their situation and what his dad did. And these next two dads agree. You need to stress to him that daddy loves him. Oh, this is good. This is good. What do you recommend I, I tell my son about the divorce? Listen to him, you mistake. Daddy loves you. But yeah, you have to reinforce how much I love him. Okay. That's all you can do. Throughout the day, a lot of people chose the hands-off approach to our divorcing parents who were breaking it so badly to their son. It's not easy being married and having a kid. No, what? it's not. I thought you liked me. This is something. As a matter of fact, you can keep this. Cheap ass ring. This dad actually moves to another table. I went through a divorce myself, so I felt very bad for that child. And so does this mother of two. Don't lie to him. You it's, told me not to lie to him. I'm it's not lying to him. It's a group effort, and that group effort has failed on your part. But she suffers silently. Sweetie, your dad is a bad man. He is a bad man. He's a liar. Too personal. I wasn't going to get up and say something. I just don't feel that whatever your parents are going through, you do not talk bad about the other parent, no matter what it is to that child. Are Thank you a mom you. too, or you're not? I am. No, I'm a mom. The father and I were not together, and that was the rule that we had. Child needs both parents, and they need to feel that both parents love them. We're back in the diner one last time. You know, you're a jerk. You're a jerk. At the next table are four friends. We're getting a divorce, your dad and I. Divorce? Divorce. What? Hey, 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 it's a not... divorce? Yes. I... Each one of them a child of divorce. This is not the end of the world, okay? It is the end of the they world. Hate. They know that for a child, it can feel like the world is ending. Come on. Oh, God, hold on. I, I gotta call you back. What? This is ridiculous. What, what the f When the parents walk away, leaving their heartbroken son alone... I'm my mom. Michael Windekinet swoops in to comfort Ashton. It's not your fault. 
There's nothing you could have done that could have changed what happened. That's your parents' decision. This happened to me when I was five years old. My parents split up. But you'll get through it, though. But it's not your fault, though. You gotta realize that. Okay? One of the friends gets up to go look for Ashton's parents. No, he was upset. Well, were you bothering him? No, he was talking to him, helping him. He said he's upset and he thinks it's his fault. Well, it kind of is his fault. <laughs> what? Well, maybe you should mind your own business. I don't it's understand not our business. You're, you're screaming business. those people down there. Hear you. Okay. <sighs> oh. I oh my God. I'm sorry, it's, it's a total totally time that we're going through. Don't make him feel like it's his fault because it's not. Well, I'm not trying to make it really feel oh, like well, his fault. Well, then you're going about it the wrong way. Yes, they're doing it the wrong way, but luckily it's for what would you do? Ah! I do it! How are you? my man? Oh my God! You went through it? Yeah, that exact thing happened to me. I went through the same thing, divorce. I was probably 13 or 12. My oh. parents got divorced when I was 11 years old. My parents split up when I was like five. You were amazing. You went over to the little boy. I really didn't know what to say. I just tried to like calm him down and make sure that he knows it wasn't his fault. You don't understand when you're that young. I was that little, so it's like, it's, it's sad. You could relate. Yeah. Your message to people who see this sort of thing? Never blame anything. Why? Because the kids always feel like it's their fault. And it's not. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.